a nice day out. A little storm coming in. Hey, welcome to my channel. I'm MJB, and today we're in the kitchen because we are going to be seeing if we can make hemmican out of ghee. One of the earliest things I remember reading about was pemmican and how it was like the ultimate survivalist food. And so I've always wanted to make it. A couple of problems. One being, where the heck do you get suet? Uh, as much as I'm into the outdoors, I'm very much, uh, if it doesn't come from the Walmart, I have no idea where to get it from. So... Everybody's like, oh, use suet or maybe tallow, but that's not going to be as good as suet. And I'm just like, where the heck do you buy this stuff? I was watching this video and the lady mentioned that once you turn it into the butter into ghee, it's 100% fat. And something clicked in my brain and I was like, hey, maybe that would be good to use in place of the suet in pemmican. So I thought, I guess I'm just going to have to try it out. So here we are today, and we're going to make some ghee, and we are going to see if it works. So we're going to be using one pound of butter. So while that's melting, um, I'm wondering how this is going to taste. I hope it tastes good. I'm using salted butter to make this ghee, so that hopefully that'll help. Most videos I watch where people made regular pemmican, they complained that it didn't have enough flavor. It needed at least more salt. So that's one thing I'm doing different. Um, another thing, I got this uh, jerky that I made yesterday just out of shaved beef. It was Shaved beef was already really thin. I thought that would crumble good. And I seasoned it because most people say, oh, you don't even season the meat. But then they complain that the... The pemmican isn't very well seasoned and while the native americans maybe didn't season the jerky uh i think if i season it it'll probably taste better when it's done and right now while the butter's melting i've got some jars and bowls heating up in the oven at 200 degrees Get them ready to pour the finished ghee in and we're still melting so might need to crank that heat up a little bit now now this jerky that I've got, I got it super dry and it was thin to start with so I can just kind of crush it up and it's getting to a pretty fine powder. I was going to blend it but I don't think I'll need to put it in the blender. This was about a little over a pound of shaved beef. Okay so it just bubbled like pretty solidly <laughs> and I'm wondering if I need a bigger pan although I'm worried that a bigger pan... Uh, Oh, and my tripod's falling on me. Uh, I'm worried that a bigger pan, the butter would not be deep enough and it would just burn on the bottom. We may have to just see how this goes. <laughs> it could be a disaster. It's definitely doing something because there's been some big bubbles, some little bits of foam. Oh, see that big bubble? Holy cow, it like shoots up far. Yeah, I'm going to switch this to a different pot because it's bubbling all over the place. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, we are now in a slightly bigger pot. I don't know if it will make much difference. Well, so long as it stays under control and not boiling out of the pot, too bad. <laughs> We'll see if we can have this all cleaned up by the time my wife gets home from taking my daughter to dance. Hopefully, it'll work. Ooh, look at it go. All right, I think from this point, we just let it go. I realize I didn't show making, making this jerky. I didn't record it or anything, but I actually have a video on, on my channel. I'll link it below. Looks like we've leveled out to just some littler bubbles, mostly. Okay, I think it's getting close. Um, it's definitely getting clearer. We're getting bigger bubbles. You tip it up and you can see the solids like sticking to the pan, but they're not quite caramelized. And I think they're supposed to be caramelized. And that's when we know the ghee is done. So 
We're just gonna let it go a little longer. Okay, the bubbling is definitely dying down. I think that's because there's um, most of the water is cooked out. And it's definitely getting a little darker. And almost clearer. We still got, it's starting to caramelize on there. So I think we're close. I don't know if that's caramelized enough or not. Trying to be careful on doing that, not dump oil all over the burner. I don't know if this would be flammable or not. Probably though. Oh, we got something interesting happening here. It's foaming even more. Okay, that's good. Let's see. See that? I think that's the caramelization we're going for. Okay, now I'm gonna carefully, as I can, <laughs> pour the ghee into this mesh and strain out the any solids. Woo, okay. Taking a minute to go through two layers of butter muslin and very foamy. Look at the caramelization on that uh, pan though. If you can see it, it looks pretty good. I think that's exactly what we were going for and I'm gonna try my best to get as much of that goodness in there as I can. And my wife said, save that stuff. <laughs> I don't know how much this is worth saving, but uh, it does look and smell delicious. Maybe you can make like a roux out of that, make some gravy or something. I'm going to grab this carefully. My butter muslin is huge for the little wire strainer I had. We will see if we can carefully send you one. She said as full as you can get it is best. And then the other one, oop, pretty sure we spilled a little. That is beautiful. So this one that's less full. So that's how much uh, ev stuff evaporated and solids came out of the butter is just that little bit of much. Um, otherwise, if we had just melted it and poured it in here, it would fill both jars. If you, if you want to seal it, it's not like processed or anything, but you put a lid on and then it'll have a vacuum just as it cools because of the heat cooling off but the other one that's going to be the fat that we use for the pemmican i'm going to move the one sealed i had thought about like toasting some walnuts and uh and putting them in here or some kind of dried fruit. The hunting trip is in like three days and I still got to pack and gather everything and it takes me forever to do that stuff. So I thought oh, I'm just going to hurry and whip this up. We'll just use the same spoon from the ghee. I'm just crushing this with a spoon as best I can. Whoops. Okay. That's about as powdery as it's going to get, so probably could be more powdery. I don't know if it'll make a difference, but I'm going to add the ghee and mix this up. Ooh, that's kind of hot. <laughs> I don't know if that'll be too hot to mix up. Yeah. I'm going to pour some in, mix it up. The warmer it's going to be when you're eating it or storing it, like maybe you want a little less fat, just enough to hold it together. Um, because in in warm temperatures it will melt up a little bit and get it turned into a gooey mess. And if it's cooler when you're eating it, um, you can go ahead and add more because it probably isn't going to be as likely to thaw out and melt. and and uh, your body will be wanting that fat all the more in cold temperatures. Like that, it's all coated right there. I think I'm going to add the rest of this anyway, just to give it some substance maybe. 
I'm sure it would be even better with some toasted walnuts or some uh, dried cranberries is one that a lot of people have said would be good in pemmican. All right, I'm just going to try this. Maybe had I blended it up a little better, maybe it would stick together better. That is going to be what it is. We will see. So I was just uh, cleaning out the scrapings for my wife. She's like, I have no idea. She's like, just don't throw it out. Save it. I was scraping that. And when I was as done as I'm going to get, um, I thought, well, I'm just going to taste this. So I tasted it. Let me tell you, all the salt from the salted butter sank to the bottom. So I'm going to be adding some of this Celtic sea salt. I don't wanna to get too much in one spot. Which is kind of what I'm doing. Ah, I'm butchering it. I never claim to be a chef. <laughs> I just like to do experiments. Put that uh, pemmican chill in the fridge. All right, I'm gonna try and just get this little corner piece here, if I can. And now for the taste test. Hmm. There's a lot of flavor in that jerky. Um, I highly recommend, if you make pemmican, season your jerky. I definitely intend to make more pemmican this way. I'd like to see how it holds up um, storage wise and definitely like out on the trail. If you got any cool ideas of ways to use pemmican, let me know in the comments below. Okay, I'm like sitting here thinking I want some more of that pemmican. <laughs> it's going to be hard not to eat it for a couple days. I was thinking maybe next time I will blend the jerky just to make sure it's good and powdered. But after eating it, mmm. I don't know maybe I'll do it next time just to see the difference but it definitely held together well so it probably wasn't necessary and yeah I would definitely make both ghee and pemmican made with ghee again um, I think the ghee would it was so simple and yet it's such an expensive thing in the store it would make a really great Christmas gift to give to people and it's not that complicated. You just whip it up and then bam, Christmas gift of ghee. Speaking um, of which, if you wanted to see, it's solidifying now in the jar. So that worked out pretty well. The pemmican, I think it'll make a really great uh, hunting snack for sure. And I think it'll be, I think it would be good on hikes or backpacking trips. I don't know about in the summer. But that's something I'm going to have to find out and I'll make another video later about it. Hey, thanks for watching. And if you're new here, thanks for checking out my channel. And just like that, one by load of dishes done. I'm MJB reminding you that when life gets crazy, keep it simple.